Hi YouTube, it's Krista the Pink Paper Princess and I have a few projects here to share. Um, I've got a couple of layouts, but first I want to show you. I have a neighbor that um, just started working for EK Success and she brought me over, um, which I'm guessing this is an EK Success product. Yes, but she brought me over this. It's the Inka Dinka Do Stamping Gear and it comes with these two pieces here, I'll just take them out, and then it came with stamps. So you put this in the middle of the piece of paper, and then this, and then you hook a stamp, sorry, you put a stamp on your little block here, so it looks like this. So this is in the middle of the piece of paper, and it sticks, I mean, well it doesn't stick, but it's got like a little rubber piece that will stay in place, and then you can just go around and you can stamp an image in a circle. And then she also got this, so you could do it on the inside, or you could stamp it on the outside, and I made that with it. What? I love you. I love you. Um, so, uh, well you can kind of see it, I used kind of a light, ink, light things, colors, but like I alternated the colors. So like there's a pink and a pink and then the purple in between it. And then I went back over with a smaller image on the inside. So I thought that was cool and it would make, you know, I could make like doilies or um, different, with different colors. So I thought that was kind of cool and very nice. Oh, and I used the inks. She also brought me these inks. And these are like all like pinks and purples. So very pretty. I thought maybe it would be also be cool to like no I didn't to use the to maybe like put a train on here and you could put like a train maybe going around in a circle which um, is a project I'm gonna thank you baby I'm gonna try for another okay you're kind of joking me all right so then for my projects I made this and this is all my mind's eye oh you okay okay my mind's eye except for the flower in the middle, and that was Prima. I was up at the, um, they, we have a kid class at the scrapbook store, and my kid was taking that class, and I was bored, so I made this while I was there. Um, it has the wood grain background with the, and this, like, are on the paper, printed on the paper, the flowers around, and then I just put another layer here with that paper. And then I cut a bunch of banners, like the blue and the yellow banners. This was a die cut from the collection, and I just tied this ribbon around it. And then this, and this, and this, and then there's a piece underneath the flower. That was part of a uh, sticker collection, or sticker pack. Oh, this down here too. And then this was actually um, a brad from... It's a My Mind's Eye Brad, but it's a different collection than the rest of the stuff. So, um, and I added some of these little pearls, and these are Kaiser Craft because um, on here there was some pearls there. There was also some pearls there, but those were yellow, and I liked the blue up here. And then, oh, I did change this. This had a number. This flower here had a number on it. So I took the number off, I punched a circle out of the pattern paper, and then that little flower out of the pattern paper, and then I put that on top. And this I changed too. That said, I'm so lucky something, but it didn't really go with what I wanted. So on the sticker sheet, I just cut a little piece out of what was left over, and I wrote, um, you are my kid. So it says, I'm so lucky, you are my kid. And then up here, the sticker says, so happy to have you and down here you are one of my favorite things but I just thought this really looked worked well because um, the chair he's sitting on it's a wood but then it's painted behind him I don't know if you can see that or not so that's one layout I did and this layout is based on a sketch from mycreativescrapbook.com and um, they they have a like if you go they have a a forum with a gallery and then they have a blog and then they have a sketch blog and this was from the sketch part of the blog and this was the my take on the sketch I used basic gray paper and um, I you know inked it and distressed the edges and I actually sprayed some glimmer mist on there 
And I think I used like a copper color and a brown. And then um, this is a die cut from the collection. And then here, this is a transparency from the collection. Um, I did a doily that I sprayed with the glimmer mist, the copper glimmer mist. Um, and then here where I tore all this, and up here and over here, I added some washi tape under there. And I think that washi tape might be my mind's eye. So I added that in there. And then these flowers here, these are from the paper studio. And um, I don't think I did anything to them. They're inked, and then I, I glimmer misted them. Then I have these, sorry, these wood pieces here, and these are Prima, and like there's one there, and there's one there, and there's one there, and there's one there, and I just added a brad in the center, and the brads I think are the paper studio too, and then this here, this chipboard piece, is I think it's from the dollar section at Walmart, the studio, whatever the Walmart thing is, and I just sanded it down because it was a little too shiny for what I wanted. And the word delight was actually written in white, but when I sanded it down, it kind of disappeared. So I went over it with black or brown, something. I don't know. So that's how that turned out. I really liked the way this turned out. I really liked this paper, and I thought it went really well with the photo. It did have a little bit too much purple in it, which is why I did the glimmer mist. So, And then my last one... Um, I don't think this is based on anything. This was just, this is my little boy in, with a mohawk. And um, I used, I don't remember what kind of paper this was. It was steampunk something. But, so I just have, you know, inked and distressed the edges. And then this piece and this piece and this piece is from the collection. Um, these were just like the plain... Uh, like cream colored tags and I glimmer misted them with a couple different colors and then I ran up through my embossing machine sorry I was trying to remember what I did and then these were uh, some I got these in the jewelry section at Hobby Lobby and then I just put a brad in them that's why they spin because they're not like brads then let's see what else do I have here um, this here is a Jolie sticker that I just sanded down. And this is a Prima flower. This is a Basil flower. Or Prima Basil. This is like a really old um, piece. I don't even I don't remember who made it. But I've had it for a really long time and I finally just stuck it down there. And this is some ribbon that I got from the paper studio and then or sorry, at Hobby Lobby. And then here's some washi tape. And I believe this washi tape is one that I got off Etsy. And I I stapled it down. I don't know if you can see that, but I I used my there you go. I used my um, Tim Holtz stapler. And then it says titled the Mohawk. And I'm gonna go back in with glossy accents and add some glossy accents on that letter, the title, just to make it stand out a little bit more. Um, these here were from Michael's, and I think you got two in a package. So I added those. Um, and here's the journaling. And it's just on some cardstock that's been torn. And this little bag here is a little recollections bag that I just stamped an image on. And I believe that's a Tim Holtz. Maybe not. I don't know. That image there. I don't remember whose that is. But the funny thing about these pictures is, um, my kid's hair is not cut to be in a mohawk, and he doesn't really like the mohawk. But there's this little girl in the neighborhood. She's not little. She's older than him. But she had asked him if she could put his hair in a mohawk. And it's like a girl that, you know, he doesn't usually hang out with a lot. And there was a bunch of his friends here that day, and it was funny that he would only let her do that to his hair. So, anyway, that's the way that turned out. I really like it. I, I knew instantly when I saw these photos that I wanted to use this paper. And I love the way it turned out. It's got a title, it's got journaling, it's got bling, it's got flowers, but it's all boy. So, um, love it. Very happy with the way that turned out. So, that's it. That is all I have to share. Thanks for watching.